Bigfoot's intelligent. That's what helps their being elusive. They're 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 not a herd of elk. They're not a pot of whales. They're hominids that are intelligent and they don't want to be seen. They're not going to be seen. Most instances are accidental when we have witness sightings. Patterns are the same wherever you go that I have found in the areas that I have researched. So south, southeast, and northwest. I have seen no difference in any kind of patterns. They're all individuals just like we are. You're gonna have grumpy ones, happy ones, sad ones, fun ones, grouchy, you know. So I think it's more of a personality difference between different individuals than regions. They're all different shapes and sizes and color, just like we have different hair colors. They're red, brown, black, white, gray. Most of the time if I get hair, it is usually hog hair, horse hair, deer, something of that nature. I've never, I personally have never received actual hair that could possibly be Bigfoot. A uh, lot of footprints, uh, handprints. My favorite investigation was back in 2001 at the water reclamation plant in the St. John's River management area. They had a lot of activity going on there. I went out there and investigations as far as sightings, vocalizations. I had received a phone call for saying, hey, we've got these handprints on the window that happened when this thing was looking in the window one night. My pictures um, were the handprints, and in some cases you could actually see the hair where it pressed against the window. The handprint isn't the full hand. It was looking in the window, so it was kind of like had bent fingers. But I got good palm and thumbs and the tips of the fingers. In some cases, it wasn't just the, I mean, it was like he moved his hands, okay? Or he leaned against the window so you could see the hair impressions on the window. This is my favorite. This is obviously skin with hair impressions on it. The handprints and the imprints I received, uh, a lot of oil in them. This is Debbie who was my uh, witness, she's pointing to way up here where the handprints were. And the handprints were roughly eight feet because it moved around and everything. She worked graveyard. She came in from the back warehouse of the, the shop into the reception area. And there it was looking at the computer screen, watching the windows, little logo thingy going on it. This is, and then when she walked in and saw it, and it saw her movement, then it kind of stood up and then took off. Bigfoot is going to be part of our genus. And that's gonna, it's gonna scare some people, it's gonna excite other people, I'm gonna be excited. And I don't think anybody can really predict what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a free for all, it's gonna be a little unnerving probably. I think they know that more than we do. Um, I don't think they want to put money into it. As far as they're concerned, you know, it's something out there and it's not going to, as long as they don't show it attention, it's not going to affect the economic portion of government and states and cities because that's their main concern. Not as much science. It's how it's going to affect the economy of their particular area. Yeah.